good morning everybody and uh, this video is to show the typical case of uh, pelvic inflammatory disease uh, in which um, the typical findings are seen uh, the findings in of the PID are uh, the findings in favor of PID are uh, this endometrium is thickened it is 17 mm but this thickening is not a true thickening it is uh, just the uh, due to endometritis and some thick fluid or uh, some collection which is giving a false appearance of uh, increased uh, thickness of the endometrium and this uh, fluid what is here inside it it may be some thick fluid so that that's why this endometrium uh, is getting uh, distended and giving the false thickness of 17 mm but if we exclude the fluid then also the endometrial thickness uh, will be still 12 to 13 mm so this is a typical picture of endometritis which is uh, one of the um, criteria for uh, diagnosing the PID uh, second thing uh, this is a left ovary which is enlarged and uh, this is right ovary which is normal right ovary is uh, 331 and uh, th uh, 3 by 1.6 mm roughly and uh, you see that uh, this ovary is normal the texture is normal uh, what is the problem with the left ovary is that uh, you see that this ovary is uh, enlarged and uh, it is showing some here ecogenic cyst uh, sorry cyst with internal homogeneous echo it is an endometriotic cyst and uh, the ovary is little bit enlarged as compared to left ovary it is 44 by 30 so uh, relatively enlarged ovary but the finding in favor of PID once again is this uh, cyst showing the internal echoes and little bit enlarged ovary as compared to the left ovary Second, we see here the fluid in the POD and uh, this fluid is uh, ecogenic. Ecogenic fluid means uh, it is a sign of, uh, in many cases, endometriosis. Uh, Post-op uh, laparoscopic reviews I had taken and uh, this kind of fluid, they, uh, uh, this, uh, this kind of fluid which is having this homogeneous uh, eco texture, uh, ecogenic fluid. Uh, it is mostly some blood uh, due to a diffuse endometriosis and uh, or it could be uh, some organized uh, pus, uh, sterile pus or it may be uh, some active uh, collection also but uh, in PID uh, final what is what kind of fluid that we can diagnose after doing the laparoscopy only. And uh, another very interesting finding of this uh, patient was that uh, this uterus is has become round, almost like a ball. And uh, the length is normal; it is uh, seven centimeter. Uh, actually, I had measured till here, but uh, then also the length is. 7 cm and uh, this AP view it is 5 cm but uh, n not considering the length just a subjective perception uh, you see that the uterus in the long axis uh, has become globular round ball like normally normally the uterus is flat but here uh, this uterus the shape of the uterus uh, it has become round like a ball so this is a typical finding of uh, adenomyosis and uh, uh, PID <coughs> but uh, main interesting thing is uh, this uh, pseudo thickening of the endometrium 
and uh, second one is that the uterus length is okay and uh, 5 cm is little bit enlarged but uh, the main thing is that this much, uh, this round shape that is uh, the diagnostic part for giving the diagnosis of uh, endo, uh, adenomyosis and uh, maybe associate it with PID. And uh, at the last I will uh, upload the reporting also so that uh, you can get to know how to report this kind of uh, findings. And uh, the clinical symptoms of the patient was the uh, patient was having uh, severe pain since one and a half year during menses and uh, yeah that's it.